Hey folks, welcome back to another TEM Shows. Today I'm going to be showing you Alien Scumbags by Monster Finger Games. This is a 2D side-scrolling horror inspired by Duke Nukem and Doom. Um, it's kind of a wild ride, you gotta see this. To start with my first impression as always, the game brings back a ton of memories of old games I used to love growing up, and it's no surprise either because the game is jam-packed with references to nearly everything. Very basic graphics options, but for a game like this it's about what I would expect from it honestly. So the story has you as your character of choice heading to the research vessel Nostromi. A nuclear war has made the Earth miserable. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any contact with the Nostromi for over 48 hours, and as you can imagine things are not fantastic when you get there. After that you're kind of like a janitor, but all your tools are guns. I'll say that I felt the story wasn't really a focus at all. You could find little dossiers here and there, but they didn't really add much to the story as far as I found. Now, when it comes to gameplay, the game has old school controls and doesn't try to reinvent the wheel. You have your running jumps, up left right aim, and everything else you might be used to in a retro action side scroller. Another thing to make a return from old shooters is a large abundance of secrets which I really enjoyed seeking out. One thing that's worth mentioning is that the game has some roguelike elements as well, because when you die you have the option to respawn for a thousand points or start again with a new character, and you unlock them as you go from these kind of like little gacha machines. Many of the characters are references and all of them have unique traits except for the starter who is just a certified badass. And there's another game mode outside of the campaign that acts as an onslaught mode where you face waves in an arena. It's really a desperate climb to see how high you can get your score before being torn apart. The graphics are gory and fantastic both in design and setup. Monsters are cool to look at and usually have multiple stages to their animations so you never really know what to expect. I was really surprised by that when it came to a lot of the monsters I fought against. The levels for the most part look pretty samey but they are laid out to good effect and have little action movie moments sprinkled to them that show off even more of the cool pixel art. Now the sound effects are very well done and the music goes counter to the action with these darker, ambient, or spacey tracks with some surprises mixed in. I enjoyed the sounds of the weapons, they felt really punchy and satisfying to use. The music did a great job of reminding you though that despite what you've been doing, blowing everything up, this is indeed a horror game. So once again it comes down to would I recommend it? Over my time playing I did have a few gripes like the weapons automatically changing every time you picked up ammo, the aiming being a lot stiffer than I would have liked, or med packs automatically being used unless you had like full health already, but overall they weren't big enough issues to make me dislike the game. I liked the characters, some of the humor, and even the story to a point. So would I recommend it to you? Yes, but it isn't going to be for everyone. If you dislike crude humor or constant references, then you probably won't enjoy this. If you have $10 to spend, love action side scrollers with a horror twist and can't get enough of that crude humor, you'll probably love the game. In a way I see this game as kind of like a celebration. It's a party where a ton of references showed up to both old games and indie games. And um, I was really surprised by how many I was actually able to catch. And of course lastly, thank you to Monster Finger Games for the chance to show off the game. It was a lot longer than I expected and a lot of fun to go through, especially like I said for someone who recognized so many of those old references. Well, that's what I wanted to show, so I'll see you next time. Peace.